hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel the topic that i am going to discuss today is size exclusion chromatography which is also called as gel filtration chromatography or molecular sieve chromatography this technique is very helpful in studying proteomics in this video i am going to discuss two aspects namely first a short introduction to size exclusion chromatography and second procedure involved in size exclusion chromatography so without a further ado let's go into the details of size exclusion chromatography if you are new to my channel and you have not yet subscribed subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the latest updates of my new uploads size exclusion chromatography here separation of solutes is based on the difference in their molecular weight or sizes in size exclusion chromatography which is also called as gel filtration chromatography or molecular sieve chromatography molecules are separated on the basis of their size and shape the protein sample in a small volume is applied to the top of a column of porous beads that are made up of an insoluble but highly hydrated polymer such as polyacrylamide or the carbohydrates such as dextran or agarose small molecules can enter the pores in the beads whereas larger or more elongated molecules cannot the smaller molecules therefore have a large volume of liquid accessible to them both the liquids that is surrounding the porous beads and that the inside the beads in contrast the larger molecules have only the liquid surrounding the beads accessible to them and thus move through the column faster eluting first the more smaller molecules move more slowly through the column and elute later beads of differing pore sizes are available allowing proteins of different sizes to be effectively separated size exclusion chromatography is often used to desalt a protein sample for example to remove the ammonium sulfate after ammonium sulfate precipitation since the salt enters the porous beads and is eluted late whereas the protein does not enters the bead and is eluted early size exclusion chromatography can also be used to estimate the molecular mass of a protein there is a linear relationship between the relative elution volume of a protein and the logarithm of its molecular mass the molecular mass of sample protein thus can be estimated by reference to the standard curve if its elution volume is known if you are watching my video for the first time please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the notification of my new uploads directly onto your mobile phone thank you